Hey guys, it's Miss Allwine here. I grabbed a new a new chapter book um, from the classroom. Uh, it's not new to me. I read this to my first graders at the end of the year last year and they loved it. Some of you might be familiar with Mercy Watson stories. This is Mercy Watson. She's a piggy. Um, I'm going to do a video series similar to the one and only Ivan. However, this book is much shorter and it has a lot more pictures. So um, I'll be trying to update it every weekday and it shouldn't take us long to finish this story. So you can sit back and enjoy. I'm going to read. There's lots of pictures, so I'll show you the pictures after I read the pages. Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride by Kate DiCamillo, illustrated by Chris Van Dusen. My favorite part of Mercy Watson's stories, Mercy the Piggy, she loves, I think it's honey toast. I can't actually remember. Butter toast. I forget. I guess we'll find out. But each um, page at the bottom has the little pieces of toast where the numbers are. All right, chapter one. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Every Saturday, Mrs. Watson makes a special lunch. Time for our little Saturday something, Mrs. Watson says. You've outdone yourself, says Mr. Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Every Saturday after lunch, Mr. Watson goes outside. Mercy follows him. They stand in the driveway together and they admire Mr. Watson's convertible. It's, just, it's almost the same color as Mercy, right? Are you ready? asks Mr. Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Mr. Watson opens the passenger door. Mercy hops into the car. She sits behind the wheel and snuffles contentedly. That's a big word. Contentedly means like satisfied or happy. So she's behind the wheel and she's going, and she's all happy. Chapter two. They're very short chapters in this book. <laughs> Says Mr. Watson every Saturday. You, my dear, are a poor scene wonder. But even poor scene wonders cannot drive cars. True story. Miss Alwyn had to look up how to pronounce that word because I didn't know. Porcine is a word that describes a pig. Um, sometimes you might hear them called pork, porcine, pig, all the same thing. Mr. Watson gently pushes Mercy towards the passenger seat, but Mercy does not move. She does not want to sit in the passenger seat. Mercy Watson wants to drive. <laughs> says Mr. Watson again. He pushes her legs gently. Scoot over, my dear. Mercy does not move. Help! Me, Mr. Watson calls out. Every Saturday, Mrs. Watson steps outside. That sounds like Miss Alwyn trying to put Rat in the car. He tries to sit in the passenger seat, but we're not going to get anywhere with that happening. He's napping right now. I don't know why he doesn't nap when we have our live meetings. He's very hyper during those times. Darling, Mrs. Watson says, if you let Mr. Watson drive, I will make an extra helping of hot buttered toast. That's what it is, hot buttered toast. I will have it waiting for you when you get back home. Mercy narrows her eyes. She loves hot buttered toast. She also loves extra helpings. Slowly, very slowly, she moves over to the passenger side. What a dear, says Mrs. Watson. You are such a good sport, darling. Yes, says Mr. Watson. She most certainly is. He gets into the car and sits behind the wheel. He turns the key in the ignition. The Watson convertible rumbles to life. All right, we're going to do one more chapter today, okay? Chapter three. Bon voyage, Mrs. Watson calls. Bon voyage, my dears. When you get home, we will all have hot buttered toast. Goodbye, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson shouted. Bon voyage is the French way of saying good travels, I think, but it's a way of saying goodbye. Don't quote me on that one. He backs the car out of the driveway very quickly. He does not look behind him. Mr. Watson is, for, is a forward-looking man. He does not believe in looking back. It's kind of dangerous when you're driving. Oink, says Mercy. Already she is having a good time. And we're off, says Mr. Watson. We're off on an adventure. Where do you guys think they might be going? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're already at chapter four. I told you they're really quick. I'm not going to read chapter four, but I'll give you a preview of the illustrations. We see two new characters. 
all right? If you've read these books before, you might know who they are. If not, why don't you make a prediction of what's going to happen? Who are those people? Um, so I will be back tomorrow. We'll read some more, and we'll see what happens. Thank you for joining me on this new adventure. And again, this one will be a lot quicker than the one and only Ivan. I miss you guys. I hope you have an awesome day.